For many female ice hockey players, playing professional hockey has been a long time dream. But six years ago, that dream became a reality with the founding of the National Women's Hockey League. Now, seven former UMaine Black Bears took the ice Saturday, and New Center Maine's Sam Rogers catches up with the two rookies making their professional debuts. For the first time in four years, former UMaine Black Bears will be playing hockey somewhere besides Orono. University of Maine definitely prepared me for the jump to the pro level. It's obviously like unusual season. An unusual season with the National Women's Hockey League. Former UMaine standouts Teresa Vanasova and Carly Jackson making their professional debuts when the puck dropped Saturday. Vanasova playing for the Boston Pride, Jackson minding the net for the Buffalo Buttes. I get to play hockey and... You know, that's that's what I want to do, and I feel blessed that I, I'm, I'm able to do that. In year six, the league adding its sixth team. And due to the pandemic, the NWHL is playing a shortened season in a bubble at one of the most historical places in hockey. Walking into that rink yesterday was definitely special and, and something I'll remember throughout my entire career. The Herb Brooks Arena in Lake Placid, New York, the site where Team USA captured the gold medal in the 1980 Olympics. Now the site for 24 games over two weeks in the NWHL season, with the semifinals and finals broadcasted on NBC Sports. You hope that's just the tipping point and, you know, that this gets picked up and people are able to tune in across the country. Maine's all-time leader in points and all-time leader in every goaltending statistic square off for the first time Sunday. So we had to ask what would happen if there was a black bear on black bear breakaway. What did she say? <laughs> I hope she does get a breakaway um, and I hope that I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> if it would be like a shootout. I wouldn't score. <laughs> As the NWHL season gets underway Saturday, it's a race to the finish. The Isabel Cup semifinals and final will be played on the first weekend of February. Sam Rogers, New Center, Maine.